Hi, in this video we're going to look at the definition of continuity for multivariable functions. So first of all, up here at the top, uh, as with many things we've done, we want to look at the definition of continuity for a single variable function. So what I have here at the top is definition that you would have seen in Calculus 1 for f of x. So f of x is continuous at x equals a if three things happen f of a exists, so that means that x equals a is in the domain of the function, or we can find an output when x equals a is the input. Uh, the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists, so that would have to mean for a single variable function that the limit from the left and the limit from the right agree and are a real number. And then the third part here is that those two things are equal. So sometimes you'll see this definition written with just this last part here, uh, which would actually include the other two. Uh, if you're going to talk about two things being equal, then the two things on each side have to exist as well. All right, so fortunately, if you remember that definition from Calculus 1, then the definition here that we're looking at is exactly the same. So I'm actually going to write it in this kind of last way. Uh, but that's going to indicate that both of the things on each side of the equals sign exist. So f of a, b has to exist, so that means a, b is in the domain of the function. Uh, the limit as x, y approaches a, b of our function exists. And then the other part here is that those two things are equal. All right, so you should be able to write down that definition, but it shouldn't be much of a stretch since you should remember that from Calculus 1. And then we're going to look at some examples in some later videos, uh, functions, and determining where those functions are continuous and where they are not.